In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can use videos inside your Next.js application. You will be able to create a background video just like the one you're seeing on the screen right now. And if you think Next.js does not have a component for videos like they have for images and links, you are correct. But think again if in your mind videos in Next.js are not performant. The thing is there's a way around Next.js not having a special component for videos. And that way is called Mux. I will link this project's code and some docs in this video's description. Have a look later. But for now, let's see how we can set up everything step by step. The first thing to do is to open a new project inside Visual Studio Code as usual. You are looking at the code that came with the installation. Nothing new so far. I have done the usual file cleanup, as you can see. So now let's move on. Let's look at the documentation and do what is required for us to use videos inside Next.js. This is the official docs, as you can tell. And I can click this link, documentation, and I see the setup. So this can be in the automatic way, automatic setup. And basically we need to run this and this will do a few things. This is gonna install next video as a dependency. We'll update our next JS config file and so on. So let's do it. Let's now run this command. Hmm. Somehow this is not working, so let me... Yep, this is not working. Why is this? I mean, this command, according to the documentation, should install the next video dependency and do a bunch of things like updating files, but it's not installing it. What about if I firstly manually install next video so npm i next video press enter okay looks like it is doing it so let's wait as you can tell the next video dependency has been installed which is great. Uh, so now, what about we now try to init this and see if this does the other things, such as updating the files and uh, creating the videos folder and all of that. So I'm gonna paste, press enter. Looks like it's gonna work. So what directory should next video use for these video files. So the convention is just videos folder. So I'm going to press enter. It's a TypeScript project. I believe it is, it is. I'm using TypeScript, so press enter. I want to update this, yep. And looks like it's working. Cool, let's now continue. Okay, this part seems to be all good. So the next step is for us to uh, set up this remote storage. And this is where Mux comes in. So let's do it. Okay, the point here with Mux is for us to store our videos inside Mux. We do not store it directly inside our project, okay? So I'm gonna right click and open in a new tab. 
and this is mandatory in case you do not have an account yet like me sorry i do have an account because i of course tested this previously i do not need to sign up all i'm gonna do is to log in and in my case i'm gonna continue with github and here i am now you can go to settings access tokens and this is the important part we need to generate a new token and we need to store this token inside a .env local file and as you can tell all i'm doing is following the documentation so i have signed up for mux and i now need to create an access token that's what i was showing you so let's bring this up so all you have to do again am i going to explain you again settings access tokens and you need to generate a new token so this is gonna ask you for some permissions and i think i'm gonna call this i don't know uh next uh max video whatever videos generate the token i now have these tokens of course that i'm not gonna share these with you and you need to create this so uh i now need to go back to the root of my project and create a dot local um a dot dot env dot local file like we have it here so i'm actually going to copy paste this i'm going to go back here to the root level of my app create the file boom inside i'm just going to copy paste this so i'm going to go back to it paste this and of course i need to replace this with the actual strings okay and i'm not going to show you these strings so you will have to paste your own strings here and here and then you can continue okay my tokens are ready inside the env local file so i now can go ahead and click the continue button cool and now the next step that you want to take is to actually add a video to our local project and run it inside the app so i'm gonna minimize this in here and this videos project was automatically created of course when we run it that command i'm just gonna drag it inside okay so this is the video and if we go back to the documentation you will see that we now need to run this command to sync everything. So let's do it. I am now ready to run this command. I'm going to press enter. Looks like. OK, no, it's working, I guess. Not super sure, but I guess it's working because I'm getting all of this information in this sample video yeah it created it's creating more information so i'm not sure if you remember or not but we had just one dot json file and now we have two because this is getting automatically created so this is good i can tell that this has worked for sure because now inside video assets as you can tell i do have this video which is the same video that i have here and yeah i have all of this information so this has worked as expected so we can proceed finally i went ahead and followed the instructions updated my own page to use this video component that we installed using npm I have imported my own video, which is video sample in my case, of course. And here I am using the video component with a few properties, more than in this example, of course. 
and now I should have my video up and running. And I made, uh, I also left uh, a comment for you. So the controls are false in this case, which means this is the perfect use case for a background video inside a Euro component section. And now, as you can see, we have it, okay? But because I'm using controls false, the user cannot do anything with it. If you want to change this Boolean to true, and I'm gonna do it right now. See, now the user, when the user overs on the video, can play with all of these uh, controls. But I think the best use case, use case is a background video inside the Euro section. So for that reason, I'm not using any controls. And this was it. It took some time, but you know me. I like to explain things in detail. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you soon.